Welcome to Cricut 301. I'm Carly Hall, and in this class, we are going to learn about the maker's engraving tip. To get started, we will take a look at the engraving tip and how it works with the quick swap housing, and then we'll get into the fun part, engraving on an acetate and metal jewelry blank. This tool system is only compatible with the Cricut Maker and will not work in the Explore machines. You'll notice that all of these tools have these gears at the top, and they will only fit in the tool housing here. The adaptive tool system currently consists of the rotary blade, the knife blade, and the quick swap tools, which include the scoring wheels, debossing tip, perf blade, and engraving tip. To use the quick swap housing, you'll select the tip that you want to use. I'm using 41, the engraving tip. Press the plunger at the top, and while holding it down, line up the engraving tip and slide it into place. Release the plunger and the tip is now secure and we can install it into the machine. Open clamp B and remove the fine point blade if that's installed and replace it with the quick swap housing and the engraving tip. Line up the gears and set in the housing. There's a little ledge that it can sit on. You wanna make sure it's completely seated before closing the clamp. Once the clamp is closed, move the star wheels to the side. When your machine engraves, it'll create a lot of engraving debris. I move the star wheels so that the dust doesn't scratch my project. Gently push the star wheels all the way over to the side. Now we're ready to design our project. I'm so excited for this one. Here's what we need. This float frame for Michaels. The glass in the frame is actually plexiglass and works great with the engraving blade. You'll also need your Cricut Maker with the engraving tip, a strong grip machine cutting mat, and a brush. The brush is optional, but I find it super helpful to brush away the engraving dust. Using a mobile device, tablet, or computer, open Cricut Design Space. I'll be using my laptop, but the process is very similar on any device. Open a blank canvas. Let's start by going over how to find a design that works well with the engraving tip. Start by clicking on images. Then choose Browse All Images. On the left side, you will see a whole bunch of filter options. Under Art Type, choose Draw Only. Draw images all work really well as engravings since they're single lines instead of outlines. You're not limited to draw images and I'll show you how to use any font a little later on in this class, but draw images work really well. For this first project, I was looking for a floral frame. To find the one I used, I searched wedding and scrolled down to the bottom. The fun thing about Cricut is that even though the image was designed to be cut as a card, I can edit it and use it to make a beautiful engraved frame project. Select the image and insert it onto your canvas. I use the contour function to delete the inside of the image. I will provide the link in the video description so you can open my exact canvas. After I contoured the image, I resized it to fit my 8x10 frame. Right now, the image is set to draw, but we want it to engrave. Select the image and up at the top, choose engrave from this dropdown. It looks pretty good right now, but when I tested this project, it didn't have quite the impact that I wanted. So to give it a wow factor, we're going to duplicate the image two more times. Click on the image and click duplicate twice. Now we're going to overlay them so that they're not perfectly aligned. Let me zoom in really closely so that you can see what's going on. This is purely decorative, so align them however you'd like. This is how mine ended up. And if I make a copy over here, you can see just how much darker the left side looks. All right, we'll delete this and continue on. In order for the Cricut to know we want all these images to engrave all together, highlight everything by dragging your cursor over all of the image. Then click attach. Now we're good to go. Click Make It. On the mat preview screen, I recommend moving your image away from the edge of the mat. Since Cricut adds an eighth of a margin around the edge of their cut area, I find it easier to line things up closer to the middle of the mat. To make things easy for me, I'm going to line my image up right in the middle of the mat. Then click Continue. Connect your machine and choose the material you want to engrave. You'll notice that some materials are grayed out and cannot be selected. Cricut will only allow you to choose materials compatible with the engraving tip. Browse through the compatible materials to get a good idea of the materials that your Cricut Maker can engrave. We are going to browse all materials and search for acetate. Did 
Design Space will show you what tools you need and you can double check that you have all the correct tools installed in your Maker Machine. Now let's load our plexiglass onto the strong grip mat. Open the frame points on the back of the frame and remove one piece of the plexiglass. Place that directly in the center of your strong grip machine cutting mat. Then load that into the machine. Once this button begins to flash, click the C button. The engrave will take a bit of time since the Cricut will be engraving the image three times. I personally like to stick around with my paintbrush and brush off all of the engraving debris. Once the engraving is done, unload the machine and brush off any remaining dust using a brush. Be careful not to scratch your plexiglass. Flip the mat over and peel the mat away from your design. I trimmed down a photo of me and my husband and applied some double-sided adhesive to the back. Stick your photo onto the plexiglass and then place it inside the frame. Can you believe how stunning this looks? I think it would make a beautiful wedding gift. If you're looking for ideas to make your engraving stand out even more, you can use these markers from ImpressArt and color over your engraving. This is a sample that I was using to test out this method. Color over the engraving and let it sit for two to three minutes and then wipe it off. You can see how it just adds a little bit of interest to the engraving. Now that you're confident with using the engraving tip, let's try something a little tougher. We are going to engrave on this tiny jewelry blank. Start by opening a new canvas. Click on the text tool and type out any sentiment. Mine is going to say, love you. Similar to the draw images, Cricut has a whole bunch of writing fonts. To explore the writing fonts, click on your text, then choose fonts, and then choose Cricut. Under the Cricut fonts, you can filter even further to fonts that have a writing style. All of these fonts will have a single stroke style that will work great with engraving. One of my favorite writing fonts that works great with engraving is the Carly Sketch. You can choose any writing style you want and use the same technique we learned in the first half of this class. Or if you don't want to use a writing style, that's all right too. Let's take a look at a regular font on my computer. This font is called Salt Lake. I'm going to start by adjusting the letter and line spacing. Once you're happy with the spacing, weld everything together. If I choose to engrave this now, it will only engrave the outline. There currently is no way to fill a font in Design Space, but since we're shrinking this down to such a tiny size, the outline doesn't really bother me. If you're looking for a single stroke font, make sure to choose a font with a writing style. My jewelry blank is really small, so I'm going to resize this down to 0.8 inches tall. Now we're ready to engrave. Click Make It. Similar to before, I'm going to move this to the middle of my mat. Click Continue and connect to your machine. Browse all materials and search for brass. Then select brass. To load this jewelry blank onto the mat, I'm going to line this hole with the center of the mat. Once 
Once it's lined up, I'm going to add a piece of masking tape to the top and the bottom so it doesn't shift around. Ensure your star wheels are moved to the side and load the mat into your machine. Then click the Cricut C button. This job is a lot quicker than the last one. Once the machine is done engraving, check to make sure your engraving looks good. If you want it to be more visible, click the C button again and the maker will do another pass. You can repeat this as many times as you'd like. Once you're satisfied, unload your Cricut mat and peel off the jewelry blank. Clean off any metal debris, and if you'd like, you can use the Impress Art marker to fill in the engrave. Attach a jump ring and add it to a chain or keychain, and your project is ready to go. I hope you learned something new in this class, and I'm so excited to see what you engrave. Happy crafting!